Welcome back to another video of the Chocolate Stocks, where we discuss trading strategy, due diligence, and technical analysis on individual stocks, as well as the market in general. So if you're looking for a hot stock, I can help you find a sweet spot. And if this is your first time at the channel, please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. I am on a mission for 1,000 subscribers, and it doesn't hurt you to do so, but it sure helps me if you do. So I please appreciate that. Last but not least, I am not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. Let's get into the video. And guys, um, I want to just do this video real quick just, uh, just to do a little bit of therapy because most of the people who do watch this channel, and I have friends and family who uh, rely on this channel a little bit to kind of guide them in the market. And so I, just, I, I feel like I just need to do uh, a therapy session just to uh talk to our people today because um a day like today can be very frustrating for a new investor uh a day like today can just get you frustrated and and you just don't know why everything is red and, and everything is going down you hear people say buy the dip but it's hard psychologically to do that you know because we we like to see green we like to see us making money we're willing to spend money if it's gonna make money we, we're not willing to spend money when we see us quote unquote losing money and so i i, I want to i want this video to be therapy for that because i want to let you know that this is the time to go shopping this is black friday this is a sale only in the stock market is when people are mad when things are on sale okay things are on sale you don't have to think about today think about the future okay the market will rise again if you establish a better position now you will be able to reap the benefits of the bull run that is to come and i can guarantee you that a bull run will come do I know when it's going to happen? No, I do not know when it's going to happen, but I know it will happen. We all know it will happen. The stock market was here before us. The stock market will be here after us. It does this all the time, okay? You're just living through it just for the first time now because you are a first time investor. And guess what? I am not a long time investor. Hey, I am living through it with you. But my purpose, my calling, I feel, is to share the experience and information with new investors so you don't have to learn the same way that I did. All right, guys? So, with that being said, I hope that this therapy session helped you. This is the time to be a shark. This is the time to go swimming. This is the time to eat. This is the time to buy. This is the time to get it done because you may not never see these levels again. Or by the time you see these levels again, it would already ran up and you will already miss the boat. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So uh, the reason why things are down today is if you look at uh, the S&P 500, ticker symbol SPY, this is pretty much a standard bearer. This is what the market really kind of mirrors. So we look to the S&P 500 to try to figure out a bigger perspective of the broader market. And so as you can see with most of the stocks today, um, there was a sell-off and then a sell-off and then a sell-off and then it ended the day low and thus as you can see here on the left side the broader market was pretty much red today with a few things here and there um that were green but overall the market was just pretty much bloody red today and thus you clicked on the video probably because you've seen the thumbnail yes the market was red today but what we're going to do now is just go over our picks and for the week and then see what we got to look forward to in the days ahead. So uh, let's follow up on ticker symbol INSG. Remember, we got to play on Sunday, 1055, finish yesterday, 1052. Today it is at 1008. Let's look at the chart in Seagull. So today 
uh, bled off all day. What we was looking for with this? Remember, we have to get these in a the sweet spot. We said under ten dollars. Remember when I gave you the play? It was nowhere under ten dollars. Let's see where it's at today. Uh, hit a low of ten oh six. Almost there. Hit that limit order. You know the market is showing weakness. This is the time to get in. You know nine ninety five, nine eighty, nine eighty five, something. You pick your price. You pick your price. You get in there at your price, whatever price that you think that you want to try to get this at. But my advice is get it under ten dollars. And once we get it under ten dollars, what we doing? We taking profits at twenty. All right. Check the other videos. I gave you an exit plan. Why? Next, uh, Palantir. Ticket symbol P L T R on Sunday was at 24.40. On yesterday, Monday, it was 24.18. Today it is 23.21. Let's look at Palantir P L T R. All right. Just like much of the market today, same old, same. Bled off for most of the day. Hit a low right here of 2310. All right, what was the sweet spot for this pick? Oh, under $24. So guess what? Due to this second instance of this correction, you got a gift today. You got a gift today. That limit order could have filled. That limit order could have filled. And let me look at this on a five-day chart just to see if it's more downside to this. And I can try to give you a place where to try to set that limit order if you're still not in on this play. Um, this is a guaranteed double up because it was trading at 40 at another point. So it looks like no recent price action for 23. I'm going to have to look at a bigger time frame. So here we are, 23. And uh, the last time 23 was tested was back up in this area here. Uh, we're looking at November. We're looking at November price levels. Um, so 2312, 2312, $23 even can get you in. Uh, it may kiss 2280 from what I'm looking at, but somewhere around in that range. Let's see how cheap you can get it. Post in the comments and see how cheap you can get pallets here. Let's see how cheap you can get Palantir. Because if it comes back, it's coming back to 23, 2250, maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see how cheap we can get it. I'm averaging down. Um, I'm in, I'm in um at 2380. Uh, but it's below where I got it. So I am averaging down as it goes. We'll see where it goes. I like my position. Um, so exit plan, what we're doing, we're taking profits at 44. You already know why. Uh, all right, so with all this red, is anybody green today? Yes, it was a lot of people that was green today. Microsoft, Amazon, Netflix, Alphabet, AKA Google, uh, Zoom, Walmart. Um, do you see any um, reoccurring themes? Yeah, I think I do. The reoccurring theme is these are all big dogs in the game. OK, so again, you know, I, I, I stress this in other videos, but I'm going to come revisit this because this is another example. Um, this is why you need big dogs. You need to have some big dogs in your portfolio to keep you green on days like today that are red. All right. So what did I do today? Um, I did go shopping on some of the plays that I gave you before in the last couple of weeks worth of video. So up on the screen is some of the picks I gave you. Uh, GVO, SNR, SRNE, DARE, MVIS, Carnival Cruise Line, Delta Airlines, Rensola, SOL. Uh, the ones in green, GVO, DARE, SOL. I added to my position today. I bought the dip on those. Um, the ones in white, I didn't touch, but I'm still in. And uh, charge point, CHPT. I didn't give you this play yet, but I bought in on this play for the first time today. I bought the dip, got in low, charge point. I will be doing a video on charge point. Um, but before I do so, if you're interested in learning more about charge points, please do your due diligence. Look it up. Look into the company. Google search it. I think you're going to like what it's about. This is why I bought into it. So uh, keep that on your radar for for uh, upcoming videos. But I bought into that today. So 
I hope you took advantage of the market. I hope you took advantage of some of these dips. Last but not least, the mm -mm -mm, YOLO stocks. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> I can't even happily do it today. Oh my God. It's just another day of just bleeding off. Uh, AMC. Man, it, it screwed me on. I have a I had an $11 call. I probably should have sold last week. Um, but this yeah this is this is this is this really killing my call option full transparency i'll show you the good the bad and the ugly i'm down 12 percent for the day i i i i started the day at 4100 and it just i did nothing but add to his positions because the dips were coming and i lost uh about 500 dollars a day paper loss but nevertheless a loss right uh, so you, you see what the correction can do to a portfolio. It killed my call. I check my other videos. I was up two hundred dollars in that call. I regret not selling it, but hey, you know, you live and you learn. I know how to play the market. At, you're gonna you're gonna take some on the chin. You're gonna win a lot. But um, I'm still bullish on the overall vision of AMC and GMB. I think this is classic market manipulation we're going to still see this squeeze I, I i do believe that i am still holding my position what the ride is going to look like i don't know but we thought we were dead in the water down here same thing with gme we thought we were dead in the water down here some of y'all been holding since here we never thought we'd be here again just relax just wait on it it's something else going on and it's out of our hands. This is fights between hedgies now. The apes, we just got to sit along for the ride, buy the dips, and then wait for it to happen. And um, that's all I got for the video. Thank you for sticking around for the whole video. If you like what you hear, if uh, I gave you a little bit of therapy about a bad day in the market, do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe button. I swear it doesn't hurt you to do so, but it sure helps me. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.